And it looks like wow. it'll be these two superstars kicking it off here tonight. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its oh, finest, fellas. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Russian leg sweep. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Going after the back here. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Slam. The leg drop. It's all over but the crying. Amazing athleticism right there. During Jeff Hardy's career, he's experienced great success as a singles competitor. Jeff is part of a small group of superstars who've accomplished the feat of becoming a Grand Slam champion. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Speaking of Jeff Hardy as a singles competitor, Michael, Jeff became a United States champion fairly recently to put him in that Grand Slam. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Showing off her strength on that toss. Charlotte not in a good place right now. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Shoulders on the mat. Charlotte with an easy kick out there. She's still in this one. Not the first time we've seen this move tonight. Her knee finds the mark. And here she's showing off some of her other moves, as some would say. Charlotte's been forced into defense mode here. Yeah, Charlotte had no choice. At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. She's absolutely off her game right now. And if she doesn't get it together, her night's going to be over. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Here we go. Lie detector. Hey, Byron, what's up? Can't waste any time here. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Charlotte has been the centerpiece of so many WWE milestones, but her match at Hell in a Cell 2016 was her biggest triumph ever. The Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks had so many epic encounters already, but their Raw Women's Championship match that night warranted a main event. Whoa. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. She's back. She goes for the cover. Pen's broken up. Byron, that Hell in a Cell match was the first time women main evented the WWE pay-per-view. And both ladies brought their very best to the cell that night. Corey, I know Charlotte and Sasha took immense pride from headlining that show. But when all said and done, Charlotte is the one we'll forever remember as the winner. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Charlotte's done playing. There's the switch. Carmella is in. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Locked in! It's locked in! I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. 
In a standard tag team match, one competitor's in. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. In comes our truth. Boom! Beautiful teamwork. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. The switch here to Charlotte. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create oh, that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Sometimes I'm surprised R-Truth was able to focus long enough to create a finishing move. When Truth drills an opponent with the lie detector, what usually follows is a one, two, three. Slams her face down. Corey, I'd be careful about how you speak R-Truth. Truth makes sure whenever he drills an opponent with a lie detector that they suffer a direct hit. One of the most dangerous things about the lie detector is our truth can drill an opponent with it, whether Truth is on the offensive or defensive side of things. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. Here's Charlotte. That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. I don't know if there's another superstar in WWE who loves entertaining more than R-Truth. But if you cross the line, R-Truth is more than happy to let a superstar know what Charlotte big move coming. And Charlotte nails it. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Our truth loves having fun in and out of the ring and loves entertaining the WWE Universe. But if a superstar tries to take advantage of the situation, true, and that's it. This one is over. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Could have gone either way there for a while. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere.